What's up, everyone? I got a beautiful beast behind me with my good buddy, Drew. Hey, how's it going? So this is, it's a Dodge and it's a camper. So it's kind of like a Dodge Mahal in a way, not the Dodge Mahal. Um, but anyways, this is, uh, was this one of the first Bison campers? Yep. Nice, man. First one. So this is your personal rig right now? Yep, kind of the shop rig, show rig, personal rig, yeah. And it's for sale. So we're doing a video showing you guys. Might be um, sold by the time this airs, if, if, if all goes well, but we can build, we can build you one. So the truck's 2015, uh, 2500. It's the tradesman, so it's you know pretty much bare bones. Uh, we got power wagon suspension up front, the shocks and coils, went with the AEV wheels, 37 inch tires. Uh, the rear put uh, AEV shocks on, airbags raised up. We use the uh, Hillsboro 2000 series flatbeds as a good uh, good budget option. They start at $2,600 for the aluminum flatbed. They come in these uh, seven by sevens. They come in the long bed option as well that we work with our garage uh, with our garage campers. Um, but yeah, it's just a good simple option. We're working on some storage boxes, but um, you know, if this one sells, we'd we'd uh, we'd love to build you your own uh, so we can do the long bed we can do the short bed like this we're working on some composite options we're working on tacoma and obviously uh gladiator my he said it gladiator yeah and then so my partner cody here oh hey bud hey guys business. how's it going so, what's up man yeah so i think we've got uh i, I shot uh i shot some footage kind of a walk around with a pop-up with the top popped up and uh so I think, uh, I think Phil, we got that to show him, get a little more detail on that inside and out. Yeah, it's really cold here. So uh, let's just show him that video when it was nice weather and you did, you did all that already. Cue it up. <laughs> Gonna do some updates, uh, updating on our bicep camper. Uh, the last time you saw him down to mob, it was uh, still getting completed, and I believe it was still in the raw aluminum uh, at that point when we were finishing up. So uh, it's been a few months. We've built a few campers. Uh, we've changed some some designs and uh, made some upgrades. And we've even made some upgrades from, from what this one is. But uh, at least we can show you uh, what we've got with this one and where we're moving forward with them as, as we're building them. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so as you can see, got my kitchen set up and uh, probably in the first video I mentioned our, our use of cargo doors was important for uh, getting inside outside storage from without having to climb in and out of the camper over and over. And big point with having this set up as a table, so you can uh, obviously just set up and uh, cook some meals. Uh, we've got these mounting points here, so you can hang all your kitchen gear on it. Uh, still easily accessible for storage under there, so you can do a lot of cooking here. And you can also easily, you know, still get in, get anything you want. Uh, we'll come back in here in just a minute, show you kind of how I've got that set up and the plans. So we've still got the turn overland windows and entry door uh, still very happy with that especially for the features on the inside that uh, that we will uh, show you here soon so again on the back side the, the larger turn window uh, we've added uh, l-track all along the back side mount stuff still a bunch more room to add uh, add some roto packs or jerry cans and um, add a bunch of gear uh, it's framed out where you could add some across the top there, so you could have a mounting point there, mounting point there. And uh, again, as mentioned uh, in the first video, we're using the strong eighth inch trim. Uh, really great for out in the woods, back into a tree or anything. It's not gonna dent the ca uh, camper, it's gonna hold up. Let's go look uh, on the inside of the camper, show you some of the features. So 
so these come as shell and as you can see it's pretty empty for now dirty floors so i've just got my battery and stuff temporarily set up over there i got my diesel heater and um the plan is build uh have a build out option of uh kitchen area over here dinette water storage some storage here make it easier to get up in bed we designed these this out of a uh, quarter inch aluminum i strong so when they're up clamp those down clamps it then we've got the uh linear actuators that um, assist with lift, lifting the top with remote disconnect all your clamps around and uh, push the button and, and it'll start raising it up and then all you got to do is go front push that lock it out and that one as well all right so the windows great thing about the turn windows on the inside you've got these you've got the screen down now makes it nice and easy to open it up tilt it out at night or even during the day and black it out and these actually have a little bit of insulation to them or you can open it up a little bit, let some air flow. A lot of options with these are really cool. Same as back here. Put the screen up. There you go. Screen down, keep the bugs out, get a nice airflow going. So these are a really great feature, especially if nothing else at night. Put the, uh, put the blackout panels up. And I usually leave it cracked just a bit so you can get some airflow in it if you want. But there you go. other than that so around this side we got the other cargo doors this one just be a good storage point where you can get stuff from inside and outside and this one I'm gonna set it up almost as kind of utility area so I've got all my electrical over there uh, I've got a diesel heater temporarily set up here but that's probably about where it'll go and then again you can put uh, a bunch more of your systems and everything in there. Right, guys well i hope you enjoy the quick walkthrough lots more to come of course um it's been super fun getting to know you guys absolutely. i've been here for i don't know four or five days and feel like we're just best buds now absolutely yeah. it's been a really good time we've enjoyed it's it fun. yeah 
So I'm so stoked for the Jeep Gladiator camper um, and just to finally have some updates for you guys. So stay tuned, we'll have plenty more. Um, and then we'll also just be doing more bison camper as you guys get more campers oh, yeah. out. We're just, you know, we just want to show it all. Um, but yeah, follow these guys on Instagram. What is it? Bison, Bison Overland Campers. Bison Overland Campers. Yep. And uh, comment below, let us know what you think. You gotta be subscribed and tap the bell so you see all these cool videos. And I think there's only one thing left. Are you down to mob? A Bison Overland Camper. You.